Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. This episode is a mix of street photography in both Detroit and Ann Arbor. If you're not from Michigan, Detroit's kind of around here and Ann Arbor's like around here. So there's like an hour and a half, an hour between both locations. So there's a little bit of variety here. To make it even better, you're going to see pictures taken on Cinestill 500D and then some Portra 160 and then some Cinestill 800T. This was my first time trying both 500 and 800. Like any good story, this one starts in a back alley next to a dumpster in downtown Detroit. Finished my roll of Ultramax here in the Eastern Market of Detroit. And now I'm about to load in some Cinestill 400D. As you can see, it's a little bit, little bit purple. Hopefully it's working. I rated this roll at 320 ISO, and I used my new light meter while I was shooting. I spent a little bit of time outside and took some pictures. I'm about 10 shots into this roll of Cinesteel 400D, and I uh, haven't gotten very many shots, but I think of the couple I have taken, I think there's a few good ones, like this guy with the cowboy hat, this guy with the thing on the back of his jacket, stuff like that. I need to stop turning and not facing the camera when I talk. Then we went inside. I love this shot so much, I think it just makes the whole roll worth it. The soft warmness of the image mixed in with those subtle halations are just so so pretty to look at, I love it. At this point, I was pretty bored because I'd been here a few times, so we left. But not before I stopped to capture a picture of this beautiful specimen. I've got a little bit of a collection of these bad boys. I definitely was not willing to go home empty handed today. On the way home, we found this old dry cleaner and I took a picture of it. I'm not quite sure if I like this image or not, I'm still kind of 50-50, but you know I'm a big fan of external validation, so if you like it, I'll like it. Fast forward a week and I'm in Ann Arbor with a friend. We were just there to take pictures and it happens to be the annual hash bash, so perfect day for some street photography. If you aren't familiar with Ann Arbor, this is where the University of Michigan, U of M is. It's a pretty acoustic town. I filmed for three hours using my GoPro and I didn't realize the whole time that there was a massive smudge on the front so all of the footage was ruined. I discovered a golden fire hydrant, actually several of them, but I only took a picture of this one for some reason. Then I was taking a picture of some construction workers and this goth girl walked past. I really feel like it's just a really nice just a busy, just a, just a pic. It's a nice contrast between the goth girl and the blue collar men. I found this back alley and I took a bunch of pictures there. I was a big fan of the architecture and it seemed to be a meeting place where a lot of people were hanging out around a bunch of different businesses. For instance, this guy was just reading a book outside of a cafe. This is where I swapped in a roll of Kodak Portra 160 and went headfirst into the annual Hash Bash Festival. I started off taking pictures of people that didn't really seem like they belonged. This old man, or these really well-dressed men that surely were off to some kind of executive board meeting, this wizardly looking fellow, and then this girl. I followed her for a little bit and I snapped this picture because she was the kind of person that you just see them and you just know that their vibe is solid, they're cool, but you just kind of like can't help but fall in love. And then, um, anyways, um, this guy is pretty cool too. I zoomed out a little bit at this point and I started focusing on just documenting what was going on and what the people participating were doing. I love this photo of the four friends hanging out. The one guy has a red solo cup with some kind of special little plant in there and I saw a bunch of people walking around with these cups and I just thought it was funny and I knew I needed to get at least one picture uh, with someone with a cup in it. And I just feel like this one really worked out because these guys just look like ballers and the cup is just funny. As the day drew to an end, I finished off that roll of Portra 160 and I threw in some Cinestill 800T. Wasn't really sure what to expect from the rest of the day or from the film, but I do like what I got. I took several pictures around downtown and one of my favorites was this woman changing the sign at the movie theater. I love it. There are so many interesting people out to photograph that day. This feels like an appropriate time to talk about some photos I shot on Kodak Gold, I think, back in March. 
So I never ended up making a video about these. I really wasn't filming when I was shooting these, uh, but since it's in the same place, here are some of the keepers and And there's me, but it's it's also a keeper because I'm in it and I'm a keeper. I'm I hope someone I hope someone besides my mom realizes that about me soon. Anyways, if you're still watching this video, please go ahead and drop a like. It does help the algorithm, I guess, but it also makes me feel really, really good seeing that like three people like my video. And anyways, uh, if you're new, consider subscribing. I drop another film video every week. And next week's video is about shooting in downtown Detroit on some Reflex Labs 800T and a roll of Kodak Portra 800T. 800, 800P. 800, 800 no letter. It's just Portra 800. It'll be fun. I'll see you then.